I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe that he is the way, the truth and the life, and no one can get to the Father except through him. I believe that he is the bread of life. He is the one who sustains us. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace, and in him and him alone, you and I will find peace beyond all human understanding. I believe Jesus Christ is the light of the world and the Good Shepherd. I believe he was a healer and a miracle worker when he walked on this earth, and he still is able to do the same today. I believe that he died on a cross for our sins, for my sins, and I believe that he rose back to life after three days and ascended on high and he is seated on the right side of the Father in heaven. The Bible in Luke chapter 24 verse 1 to 12 says, But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise. And they remembered his words. And returning to the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told these things to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale and they did not believe them. But Peter arose and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves and he went home marveling at what had happened. Jesus Christ is alive. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is power. His name is above every other name and there will come a day when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the risen one, the almighty one. When we speak his name, when we speak the name of Jesus, every sickness has to bow, every disease has to leave, every chain has to loose. I encourage you today to seek Jesus Christ for yourself, for your home and for your family. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, we give you praise and thanks for the perfect work that you accomplished on the cross. Lord, you hung on the cross for our sins. You were blameless, yet our sins were nailed on that cross with you. And words fail us, words fail me, because there are no words to thank you, King Jesus for the price you paid on that cross. The Bible in Isaiah chapter 53, verse three to five says, he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted but he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Lord Jesus, in agreement with everyone listening, we praise you, we adore you and we worship you, because on that cross you were hurt and you suffered all because of our sins. You were wounded for our sins, you endured incredible pain for us and the blood that you shed was for our healing. The blood that you shed is for our healing. Thank you for the blood that you shed, King Jesus, so that we could be protected, so that our families could be protected, so that our children and our loved ones could be protected. Thank you for the blood that covers all, the precious blood that shields us from evil. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse three to four, for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Lord Jesus, we rejoice because you have risen from the dead. 
Our Saviour has defeated death, and we serve a living God. We rejoice that you are all-powerful. We rejoice that you are a God who can resurrect and restore. We give you all the glory, praise and honour. I call on your name, King Jesus, to be our rescue. Be our banner of hope. It's in you that we place our faith. You, Lord, are the reason why we are more than conquerors. Lord Jesus, you are the reason why no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. Lord, you are the reason why we cannot and will not be intimidated or overcome by the devil. In the name of Jesus, we refuse to be oppressed by the enemy. We refuse to be defeated by him. We believe and declare Psalm 20 verse 7 which says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. Some may find their strength in weapons, but we will trust in you, King Jesus. Some will trust in science, some will trust in their wisdom, but we will only look to you, Lord Jesus. In our weakness, we will boast of your strength and your might. Be glorified, Lord. We bless your holy name. Thank you for hearing this prayer. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, I pray. Amen.